pantry as you see it. These were all selected with um, a nutritionist in mind, but we also um, basically had conversations with kids about things that they would like. Um, so we had to meet in between what the nutritionist felt was, you know, nutritionally appropriate for kids, but also um, what kids felt like when they come in and select foods, what are things that they would be preparing, because many of our families are working second and third shift jobs and aren't home to prepare food, so a lot of our kids are doing that for themselves and their siblings, and so um, these are things that they would know how to prepare. Um, in particular, we have in one of the refrigerators, we have um, hamburger, so, you know, what we try to do is we have little recipe cards that we've developed, and they'll have things like pasta sauce, hamburger, spaghetti noodles and they'll be able to basically figure out how to, to make that meal with a recipe card that shows this is how spaghetti can be made although we all know that you can make it multiple ways this is just a nutritionally sound way to make that so let's say like in the last week how many how many families do you think you guys have served I served 11 families this week already um, and that's including with a one day off on Monday so that means I served everybody yesterday. <laughs> wow. Um, and that family, um, two of those families had more than five children in them. So, you know, we're, we're, we're hitting a, a, between the 20 and 30 mark every week on average. And how many McKinney Vento or kids that are, are designated as homeless does Bryant Station typically have? The high school? Um, currently, I think on my list I have 26 students. Um, that can vary because um, ultimately, since we don't have all the resources that we need, um, many of those are transitioning out of our community and back into either somewhere else in the community because they're doubling up with other family members or friends. Um, or, um, for instance, I have a family right now that all of the children had to leave the state and go live with family somewhere else because um, they were unable to get things um, worked out here, in particular sustainable, uh, you know, what they could afford. Um, even with programs and McKinney Vento and all those kinds of things helping to support that, it's still a, a very tricky system to try to maneuver. There's so many different rules, forms to fill out, places to go, and when you don't have transportation worked out, you don't have money for transportation, then all of those things become real big barriers to try to figure out how to solve. Yeah. Um, so we come in and uh, when we find that out and we, we help them kind of maneuver some of those steps that might be a little bit more complicated, but uh, you know, sometimes we don't have success and they have to leave and, and go somewhere else.